Hello and welcome back to Tea with Tracy. Come and see you live every Tuesday at 12, spilling relevant tips, trends, and talk in all things real estate and home ownership related. Today, we're continuing on with our series. Once a month, we bring on designer, author, and speaker, Holly Dramati, to talk about how we can make busy beautiful. So without further ado, let's get Holly on to join us for this month's episode. Hi, Holly. Hey, Tracy. How are you? I'm fantastic. How are you? Good. 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 Oh, I love your background that you have. Oh, this is part of my office scene. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's great. That's so much fun. So oh. what's what city is that? What is it behind it's you? It's Manhattan. Manhattan. Awesome. This awesome. Is yeah, this has been part of my work backdrop for about five or six years. And okay. I'm telling you, it gets me through the, the doom and gloom of, you know, January through March <laughs> here in the Midwest. So, yeah, always awesome. something pretty to look at. Yes, I don't think we've ever had you on from your, your office background. It's always a different location, and yeah. we appreciate you joining us. And it's fun to have a different a different background today. So. Yeah. <laughs> So today we are continuing on. We've been talking about each month you come on and we talk about, you know, our busy lives and how, you know, we're all so busy and yet we can still make busy, like fantastic. Making busy beautiful is your, yeah. is your tag, right? So yep. um, this week, so first just give us the quick snippet about like the, the, the components of making busy beautiful and then what we're going to focus on today. For sure. So making busy beautiful, it is a lifestyle, simple lifestyle mindset that I've kind of curated throughout the years. And it, they're just habits um, where I live my life trying to stay um, grateful and focused. And I make the most of every day using what I have. But my three pillars are I have this mild focus of making sure that I feel great somewhat in my space every day, also in my style, and then also in my schedule. Okay. So I'm, we're kind of tackling a little bit of all of those throughout the year. Yes. And so, and today we're focusing on style, right? Uh huh. Okay. So with style, I know it's something that all of us love to do, which is a closet clean out. <laughs> Yeah, right? We, yeah. So we tackled the space last month. We talked about, a, you know, a different space, but now style. So um, so you, I know you have mentioned, like, with that comes, you know, having your closet be what? What, is, what should your closet look like if you well, are? Well, this is, like, today all I want to touch on is not the, like, with each of, each of the three areas, it's all about removing the clutter Mm -hmm. and then redesigning and so for today this is about let's just remove the clutter from your wardrobe from your okay. closet and i think it it feels so much more daunting to most of us than what it really has to be yes. and it's really interesting i've had i've been sitting on this for an entire year i did this last may I have photographs. I'll post them after we do this live. So if you're watching, go check yes. it out. I'll share them with Tracy. But I have a picture of myself from last year in my front yard sitting on 10 bags of clothing that I had cleaned out wow. of my closet. And the point in that is that it literally took me maybe an hour to get really? through. Yeah. It, in, in the trick to all of this when you're decluttering anything the yeah. trick is to be very focused and and go in with intention having rules okay, okay. that's what this is all about so you can you know you can get distracted and get really yeah. stressed out by it or if you can hone in on the simple questions where you say okay i'm going to go through i'm going to start on one side and end over here and i have I'm going to do it in five minutes or I'm going to do the whole thing in an hour, whatever it is, you can, it's so attainable. You can get it done, but it, it's hour. all, it's okay. all yeah. in your mind. 
I will say, I, I do agree. It probably is in your mind. And like for some of us who, you know, the last couple of years with the quarantine and all that, maybe we've put a little bit of weight on. So some of the clothes that we used to wear maybe aren't quite fitting. So they're just sitting there waiting. They're just waiting for us for when we're ready for them again. So, so. Eh, so. You're not going to, you, you may not like what I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Bring it on. Bring all right. On. So, so really this is super, super easy. Uh, maybe easier said than done, but there are just three questions that you need to get straight in your mind before you tackle a clean out. Uh, okay. Okay. Three questions. I can number, do three questions. Number yeah. one, it, it, the first thing it goes right to what you were saying. Ask yourself, have I worn this in the last 12 months? Oh, oh, yeah. You no. hold it up and if, and, and I'm guilty of this too. Yeah. If you have not worn that pair of jeans in the last 12 months, then guess what, sister? Give them to, give them to someone. Because the button's a little bit It tight. doesn't matter. It's going to fit again. Because <laughs> guess what? By the time yeah. they fit, it, it's like d just give them away yeah. and let someone else appreciate them, buy them, enjoy them. Yeah. Because chances are you may never get there, and then they're living in your closet forever. Right. And and life is too short. It is like our time. It's yes. like, let's enjoy every day. Well, and, and like you were saying, it's a mental thing. So I think there's probably like some mental or emotional burden, right? So even though they're in there, or maybe some guilt, and we're constantly mm -hmm. like, oh, I should be able to fit it. You know, I should be able to wear those. So if we just let them go, then that's gone too, right? And yeah, and you know, some of us have things that are worth money sitting in the closet. Maybe, yeah. maybe you bought, maybe it was that luxury brand and you bought it, you know, 80% off and it might still have the price tag on. So there is yeah. value, I'm mm -hmm. sure. And, and if there is, and you want to tap into that, you know, you can sell it or you can take right. it to a resale shop. Um, but the bigger thing is just, if it's not serving you, then, then let go. It's right. just time to yeah. let go. Well, and, and I will say you can bless others. Um, I know there is a local organization called Love Inc. Um, and if you are in or around the Oxford Lake Orient area, they're going to be, re they made a move. So they're going to be, they're awesome. looking to restock their clothes closet um, starting in July. The second week in July, I know they're going to have three weeks. And on Wednesdays and Saturdays from 10 to 3, you can take all of those clothes that you've cleaned out because you're going to go and do it after the episode and you can take them there. So, um, yeah, you can bless others, right? Yeah. Instead of it just sitting there and taking up your space, not only physically, but, you know, mentally and emotionally, and you can yes. bless somebody else with it. Yeah. So, okay. So uh, haven't worn it in 12 great. months. All right. All right. 12 I'm months. Already, like, 12 months. Through, and, like... and I've gone through and thought about what should that number be? I think 12 months is very fair. Yeah. Chances are the styles have changed. Even for myself, I'm very, I really don't follow trends. I like, I'm a very basic dresser, but yes. still, yeah. if I have, if I didn't wear those jeans last summer and their summer weight, I'm not going to wear them this summer. Let's right. part. So, okay. Yeah. So uh, the next question is this one I love so much. Am I comfortable when I wear this? Yeah. I mean, really? They're how. Like, I don't care if you look like a million bucks, but guess what? If there's, if there's like a little bit, if it's a blended fabric and, and that one, you know, 2% is spandex is making you feel itchy, right. then, you know, think about how you physically feel when you're yes. out and about. And if you don't feel like you're either wearing pajamas or you feel like it's comfortable, but you look amazing, like it should feel great. Yeah, I'm not yeah. a suffer for beauty kind of person. It no. is like, this is comfort first. So, well, and you know, I used to work with a former, former model and that was something that she said too. She's like, it doesn't even matter what you wear. As long as you're wearing it with confidence and it's something yes. that you feel comfortable that it's you. Yes. That is what is like most important. That is what style and fashion that's, that's what it is. Oh, so I love that. Yeah, yeah, it's so true. I mean, like me today, I'm in my favorite thing. I am a white t-shirt girl. When the yeah. warm weather hits, if I can live in a white t-shirt or a tank, but white is my color and it's just, I'm always, I feel my best. Yeah, I'm into something absolutely. really basic. So, and why why do you want to wear something that you don't feel good in? I I feel like shoes, yeah. right? Shoes are in your closet too, and this is something that you know I've had some shoes where it's like, oh, they're so cute. 
I think they're cute. I've gotten compliments on them, but every time I wear them, I'm like, I don't even want to wear them because right. they either crunch my toes or they, you know, cut into my skin, you know, like, so it's like, why, why keep them? Why not just, you know, wear the shoes that, that I love that are comfortable and get yeah. rid of the rest. So, right. Yeah. I agree. I love that. Okay. Uh, okay. And then the last question is maybe it's comfortable. However, there's another layer there. Do oh. I feel happy and confident when oh. I wear this? Okay. So, so see, it, it all kind of, we, they kind of ties in, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and it doesn't matter if, you know, like I might, I, I basically am to a point with my wardrobe where it is, it has been so simplified over the last couple of years that now I know anything I put on within reason, I'm going to feel comfortable and confident. Right. And, yes. and it is, it is all about, I want to help my clients and my people, you know, like I want to practice what I preach and, and it's about feeling, you want to feel like your best you. That's what right. it is all about. Just like you said, your your ex model friend said, it is yeah. so all about just honing in on what makes you feel the most confident. And if it is the jeans and t shirt, if you can step out in confidence in that, then that's what it should be. Right. And you know what? I think your your second two questions tie into the first one, right? So yeah. if it's if it's not comfortable, if you don't feel great when you're wearing it, that could be why you haven't worn it in the last twelve months. Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah, it's, 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 it is easier said than done for, for some, I know I have some friends and clients who are so good at like, no, nope, this is gone. This is gone. This is gone. Then there are some of others, you know, some of us that, you know, we have the emotional attachment or the, but well, or the practical side, like, like well, why am I going to get rid of these clothes? I might, tea. <laughs> I might be able to wear this for X, Y, Z. So, yeah. yeah. So, so basically what you're saying is that I need to go and anything I've ever worn in the last 12 months that I think I might want to, I better hurry up and put it in the schedule to, <laughs> to wear it. <laughs> yeah. This, cl this closet clean out phase, it is basically, this is all just get your, get yeah. your mind ready, go and do it, divide and conquer. Yeah. And then what's left should be everything that you're looking at. It's going to feel like you have a new wardrobe. It, it's yeah. crazy how when you remove the junk and you remove the clutter, you're suddenly viewing what you do have, I think with a new appreciation and then like with a new lens of, oh, you know what, these jeans, I really did, f I feel amazing in these all the time. So what can I wear with this now that might be different? Right. Maybe different right. shoes, maybe different, you know, and so that's where it, you know, next time when we talk, we're going to talk about kind of the redesign ah. of the style. Like now okay. you have what you love. Now what? Right. So you have to do the work this month. You have to do the work. Yeah. It's going to be it's easier for some, but mm -hmm. go through, ask yourself the three questions, right? Have I worn it in the last 12 months? Is it, does it, do I feel good in it? And is it, what's, what was the it's, third? I'm um, sure I already forgot. <laughs> have you worn it in the last 12 months? Are you comfortable, are you comfortable? when you wear it? Does it okay. feel comfortable? And yep. when you wear it, are you happy yep. and confident? All right. So are you happy and confident? Does it feel yep. good when I wear it? And have I worn it in the last 12 months? And if you answered no to any of those questions, right? It doesn't have to be all of it. Just yeah. take it out, whether it's, you know, you decide to to sell it, whether you decide to donate it. Um, and if you want the contact information for that organization, um, Love Inc., uh, I will be happy to put that in the comments um, if you want to mm -hmm. see about donating. There are plenty of other great organizations awesome. that you can donate to as well. Um, I personally like the thought of blessing others with, with those items. So um, I love yeah. it. So. It's great. And it's funny too, because my older girls really love thrift shopping. And mm -hmm. so every time they say, we're going to go thrifting, I think, I know that you're going to go to the Salvation Army where I donate and you better <laughs> not go buy something that's, that I just that got I rid just of. Came, yeah. Well, see, usually that's my first step. If I'm going to, you know, if I'm going to donate or, you know, do something else with some, I will first put it in my girls' rooms and say, hey, do you, they get first crack. And then if they yeah. decide they don't want it, then it, then it moves on. So yes, but, um, 
Well, thank you for joining us, Hallie. And thank Always. You for the next, you know, this next phase of making Busy Beautiful. We want you all to feel comfortable, um, not only in your space, but in your style. So, mm -hmm. um, so to take on the challenge this month and go through your closet and drop us a comment and let us know how you're doing with that. So... Yeah, and I promise I'm going to yeah. post this afternoon. I'll po make a post with a picture of me in my garbage bag so you can yeah. see. I'm really doing it. And uh, and it is a fun, it's a great time of the year to, to clean out while the weather's warm. Absolutely. Get rid of it and just, you feel lighter. You definitely yes. feel lighter. So. You do. All right. Well, thank you. Thanks, Holly. Thanks for joining us. Thank you all for tuning in, whether live or on the replay. And we'll see you next Tuesday at 12 on Tea with Tracy. Bye. Bye-bye. Have a good day. Thanks, you too.